Catch me if you can, Mr. Holmes. Rating art styles have had over the past two years. POV you're drawing a body, then you get to the hand. Let's make a fairy OC based off yourself. If you're born in these months, you're going to be evil. And if you're born in these months, you're going to be good. If your eyes are blue, you're going to give them dragonfly wings. If your eyes are brown or black, you're going to give them butterfly wings. If your eyes are green or gray, you're going to give them bee wings. And if you have hazel eyes or other colors, they're going to be moth wings. If you have any piercings, you're going to give your character pointy ears. If you have any tattoos, give them antlers. And if you have any freckles or moles, you're going to give them a crown or a hat. If you're the youngest child, you're going to give them a wand. If you're a middle child, you're going to have a sword. And if you're the oldest, you're going to have a lantern. If you have a cat or a dog, you can give them a pet of some sort. And if you have an exotic pet, you can give them a potion. And lastly, if you're short, give them a mushroom dress. If you're about average height, give them a flower dress. And if you're quite tall, give them a butterfly dress. Now let's see that lovely fairy. Because it growled at me.
tired of drawing the same eye over and over, learn these five eye types. The first one is going to be the hooded eye. This eye has a low brow bone, so you start by drawing the line, and then you come in afterwards by adding the top edges and the bottom lid. Here's a real example. Next, we have the wide eye, and from what I've seen, this one is the most commonly drawn. You have your top curve, then a shallower curve at the bottom. The iris is almost complete, except for the very top and bottom. Here's a reference of it. Next, we have the oval eye, and now you don't need it to work in the office. This guy is pretty much symmetrical on the top and the bottom. You'll also notice that as someone ages, the skin on their brow bone starts to push their eyelid down like this. And the reference for it is right here. And next we have the thin lid eye. You can keep the thinness or erase the top part for a mono lid. Here's a reference. And I'm running out of time, but here's the almond eye. Hope this helped. <laughs> I tried to paint the Mona Lisa. Fresh canvas. Now I have to add the details. 